guys welcome back to enigma review so today i'm going to be doing a small independent business one that's growing and growing and um i have done this business a fair few times on my channel not this year but last year and the year before i have done this business on my channel then and um i just dip in and out of it i used to have a subscription with them for one of the um alternative bags um but then i stopped all subscription obviously because i had to cut down on things that were buying i think everybody goes through that that whole kind of um stopping subscription boxes swapping and changing and so forth i would like to try like box of goth this year and spooky box um the only thing that puts me off spooky box is the, the long wait but i do like the contents of the boxes so it's something i need to consider but anyway, so today we are going to be doing a cult box. So again, like I said, I jump in and out of a cult box. Um, if the if the theme of the box sounds like appealing to me, I will grab it. And this month's theme, which is the January box, is bats. Now, it, we are coming to the end of January and Misha and Kyle are a little bit late on the boxes. But, you know, she did, she did notify me um about the delay and i think they were waiting for one item to come from a supplier and i'm not even sure if that item come and they've had to kind of chase around and get that done that's out of their hands there's nothing they can do about it um but yeah let's get stuck in guys because i love bats if you can't tell um i've got my bat shelf that i've had made by my father-in-law i do love grimly fiendish crafts and eerie touch and i do want another one of them signs from eerie touch and i will want some more from grimly um yeah and if um, rebel soul ever did a bat shape in the um acrylic i think i'd grab that too i'd have to ask amy about that but let's get stuck in guys so it's taped in it has the name bats on there what am i expecting bats of course <laughs> so let's have a look I have had a few orders today guys they are orders that are for my birthday so i can't include them in the video but i can't wait to include them in a video if everybody wants to see what i got for my birthday i'm still waiting to see what people want to see it's very hard when you've not reached 1k because you can't actually ask your viewers what they want to see you've just got to go with it okay so upon opening the box this is what we are faced with interesting so i'm going to place it down here open it up wide here and take out the first item which is a little card i've got my glasses on guys so it says bat attracting flower seeds oh well what are me and ben doing at the minute me and ben have started our own tree business and you're probably thinking what we are growing monkey puzzle trees and christmas trees and all kinds of um trees apart from bonsai trees they're probably one of the hardest and probably the most expensive trees but anything like this i know me and ben will appreciate so it says oh god the writing's very very tiny and i'm long-sighted so i don't really see small writing it says night seated stock oh i can't i can't read this guys night scented stock is an old-fashioned purple annual that reaches its peak fragrance at twilight attracting bats to your garden oh where you wish them to grow basically ground or pots plant between march and june so got a bit of time yet and it says place seeds in five millimeters soil five millimeters deep cover with soil and keep moist do not from children and pets all right okay so that's that guys so it's it's a bat attracting flower seeds that'll be interesting um we do grow our trees inside and outside so i think we'll probably obviously i'm not going to attract them if they're inside are they so i'll probably will do that so it's outside so that's my first item I'll give that to my husband and let him sort it out. Um, I think he'll be um, intrigued by that. So then we have a postcard. 
print um i will probably put this in one of these frames that are here as you can see it'll probably fit nicely in here these are just frames that i got from um i think it was poundland for a pound for three and they had them in gray and white obviously i will do gray or white because my bedroom's all gray white and black it says glasses back on a silhouette in the moonlight rebirth of the night in darkness they will echo in twilight they take flight come to me sweet familiar and let my voice guide you home we're both safe once the sun sets in the castles we shall roam oh that's pretty cute that is and it says here www.occultbox.uk poem by kyle herbert so that must be kyle misha and kyle so that's really nice i like that i think he's probably done that himself nice little touch that he's done himself because obviously this is a small independent business guy so most of the stuff in these are made either in-house or they're stocked from other places um yeah so that's my first item i keep taking my glasses off and i always need to put it back on again it says here thank you for your order your support means the absolute world to us scratch below to reveal a surprise yay and it says here www.occultbox.uk alternative witchy and spooky monthly subscription box and emporium instagram at occult slash lower slash box facebook.com slash occult box occult <laughs> use hashtag occult box on your posts that's if you want your pictures noticed you can do that i do take pictures of my things and i will scratch that off at the end so don't let me forget guys oh look what we've got here so we've got a little back pencil case going on here um what's inside i wonder uh, i'm not a big stationary person i will admit but zach is but anything like gothic like bats or skulls i have got a lot of like stationery in that kind of design so what's we got what's we got inside here and i love a pen i think misha knows i love a good pen yeah so this is the bat oh, the... guys my eyes have got so so bad over the 12 months bats about bats so it's a pen great i have got a, a black pen i think i may have got it from the trick-or-treat box yeah it may have been the trick-or-treat box a while ago um, last year sometime so that's my first item that goes in here and then there is a little notepad 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 <laughs> notepad and it just says creature of the night carpy not ten i've seen that kind of design i think on killstar and then it's got that poem that's on that card on the back of the notepad as well great to put in your bag if you need to do little shopping notes or video ideas not that i really do video ideas i just video as and when i can now um things are changing in 2021 for me and i'm surprised i actually ordered um, a subscription box because i wasn't going to start off with with that but and then we've got a pencil that says bats about bats with a rubber on the end i'll hide that from zach because he'll want it now i will probably use this as my makeup bag you know just things that i need which is really really handy because i've just got some kvd makeup that i would like to keep separate from my other makeup so i know where it is um and like my high-end makeup so that'll come in handy for that they will go in my little jar downstairs with all my gothic pens and pencils and i will probably put this in my bag i may just put the pen and that in my bag as such so that's that item guys and then we've got the famous thrippy bag <laughs> and then that's the empty box and it's a recyclable box guys so you just rip it up stick it in the bin easy easy enough thing so let's have a look what's inside the stripy bag we see these stripy bags all the time okay so the first thing is a back window sticker i think i may stick that actually on my back my back shelf instead of rather than my window because i'm just going to put my hand in and just take out whatever i feel So it's in an organza bag. Oh, oh, it's well. So it's a baby little bat. How cute is that? Now I have is my other item. So let me just put them out on the bed so I know what's what. What else have we got in here? Ooh, is this one of them chokers? I love these chokers. I'm, I'm, I'm really easy to please, me guys. Really, really easy to please. But 
Oh, it is. So, I've been wanting one of these for ages. My friend Gemma has one, and I always say I want to grab one of them. And they're not that expensive. I just never get the chance to grab one. But that, I think it just, it just pinged onto there. I don't know how it works. But it attaches, I'll find out how to attach it. I don't want to break it. And then it just goes on your neck. It's very stretchy. So if you've got a, a wider neck, it will still stretch with it. And it's got a little bat hanging off the bottom. So that's cute. Put that there. And then, yay, a little bat earring, which is kind of cute. Um, I want to say, well, I'll keep that in here. I'll put it on my keys. I have got a lot of key rings on. I've got a big bunch of keys that I've got all my key rings on. But you know what? I might stick that on my new bag, my Killstar bag, which is the moon. A little bit of a bat theme on there. So I'll use that for that. And then there's another organza bag there for that. Oh, another stripy bag. Oh, and another stripy bag. Don't you love a good mystery? I think this may be a print yet yeah, from the black amethyst. Is that my bag? Yep. Yeah. And that is my stripy bag. Done with. I normally used to keep all them when I have my studio. Now I'll just throw them away. But this is the print and this is from the black amethyst. Now, amethyst is my birthstone. Yeah, that's soon to be my birthday. Um, I've never heard of the black amethyst before, but when I did see on the occult box bats and who was featuring, I think I went ahead and I added them anyway. And I knew it was gonna be a bat themed print. Oh my God, this is so cute. <laughs> so there's a little badge that's gonna go on my denim because as you know, I'm doing a whole denim jacket thing. I'm nearly finished it now, guys, to be honest with you. I've got a few patches that need stitching on that haven't stuck. Um, I've, I've got loads of patches for my birthday and I've got a couple more um, pin badges. What I'll probably do is just save this, what's left here, to put my pin badges on. But as for like my uh, patches, I'm finished with all them. But that's a little, little badge I can stick on my jacket. Thank you to the black amethyst. And then it says, so what if I'm a little batty? <laughs> That's cute. I do save all my stickers. I do have a, quite a big bunch of stickers that I've got from small businesses and I've just kept them all together um, until I actually move somewhere permanent and then I can stick them on certain things. And then the print is so cute. Oh, and it has, it has some details on the back. So the black amethyst, guys. So it says, hello, I'm Izzy. I'm 24. I'm a mum to be with a little bat baby due in June. Oh, how did you, baby? She's a devil in disguise. <laughs> She's watching. She'll go, mm. <laughs> I started my little shop in February 2020 after years of my mum trying to get me to sell my art. My first prints were of two bats called Boris and Betty. So I find it fitting that I am part of the occult box bat theme release. This bat baby print is called Me Messy, or is it Nessie? Nessie, I think it is. Please tag me in any photos of her in her new home. And here's to a spooky 2021. Now you can find the black amethyst on Instagram at the black amethyst. I will show you in a minute. And then it's www.etsy.com slash UK slash shop slash the black black amethyst shop. I can never get all that out in one. I always get tongue tied. Blah, 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 run about that bit. But that is is his details there i've already added izzy on instagram i may go ahead now and add her on etsy i will probably have a look at her prints because my husband is allowing me to put whatever i want now in my bedroom because we're not going to be here permanently so i just need to get out and get loads of frames i've got lots of prints from last year's halloween box from chains and charms uh, they're in collaboration with somebody, I can't remember who it was, but I've got a lot of prints, um, Simon's Nest, I've got their prints as well, and I would like to just put them along here, I've just noticed there's a big crack in that wall, so maybe a few prints of bats and skulls going along here, and as you know I absolutely love Hannah Horror, I collect all her things, I mainly keep my Hannah Horror downstairs, but I do keep some of her little things that come on there, and I've got like some pictures there that i've got as well so thank you for that the black amethyst so there's your badge your sticker and this really nice print i'm going to keep it in the envelope for now until i can get 
a frame so i'm going to put my badge on so that's that guys so we've got two more bags left 17 minutes wow way so i've got these little holders for these now i may grab a few more from a cup boxes emporium the little little holders these are little witchy witchy candles spell candles I've got a whole box of them downstairs i appreciate these because they come in handy so i'm going to keep that and put it downstairs it's a white one i haven't got any white i've just literally got black oh my god are you serious <laughs> I just bought three of these and I wanted another one so it made four. Oh well it looks like Misha read my mind I don't know if that candle's going to fit in there it looks like it's a bit fatter to fit in there and I probably would mix well and then I don't know just wrap that wax now I don't actually burn these guys just because I can't imagine the wax going everywhere kind of thing so I don't really burn them but i just have them on my, my unit as a display but it's a bloody bat so my husband might i could make you a few of them so that's that guys and then there's one more bag left i was actually thought there was milks in there and i don't know what's in here but it's got your coat box sticker on there so did that one i love a good surprise i needed this everybody needs a pick me up yay right so that's my bags finished with I can go and put all them in the bin so Chiroptera I don't know if that's the name of a bat or a species of a bat but so that's the mirror guys and then I think we got a, a magnet I've got to keep the magnets away from Zach because he he does break them all but here is the magnet it is a beautiful bat I'm trying to think where I could put this in here because if put this on the fridge bye bye bat he'll have no wings because he will absolutely annihilate it i might see if i can find somewhere for it to go maybe a piece of metal that ben can put and i can put it on the wall but that's my occult box guys bat theme let's do a, a let's have a look at what we've got so starting off oh we need that scratch card thing as well so we've got a scratch card i don't know what the prize is but we'll have a look now so we've got the bat attracting flower seeds so I'll be interested to see what happens that. I, I think Zach would be freak out if there was a gang of bats outside chilling out the back garden. But I, So that was that, guys. And then I got this postcard with a poem on from Kyle. Thank you for that, Kyle. I'm sure it's it's Kyle, Kyle, Misha and Kyle. Um, and then we got a baby little, tiny little bat teddy, which I don't own any bat teddies, so I'm grateful for that little bat teddy. And then we got the... All right, show up now. Bat pencil case with pen, pencil, and a notebook, plain paper, so you can write down some notes. I'm going to keep that for makeup, but I won't put that back in there. We've got a bat window sticker, which I'm going to just keep for now until I move. I'm going to put it with the rest of my stickers. We got a bat keyring. We also got. Will you stop it? We also got. I like have a real baby behind me. I also got the bat um, candle holder with a white spell candle in going straight downstairs. I can't believe that I actually got one of them. It might not mean anything to anybody else, but to me, it's just saved me buying another one because that's what I was going to buy with the rest of my money. I was going to buy a few more of them. And then I got a mirror as well. I'm not going to blind you, but it's a nice big round mirror. And we got a magnet. Not forgetting the print from Black Amethyst the badge and their sticker so that is it guys oh and the choker pardon me and the choker let's check i'm not forgetting anything and the choker so that is my occult box for um january i do have february's box coming which is in collaboration with ve cosmetics which i have had before on my channel and hannah horror yay i know hannah horror has been in collaboration with the cult box before i missed out on that one but the lovely danita from dmc design gifted me the little graveyard bauble because I, I was really gutted i missed out on that the good thing now is i can just message me sure if i want to get one of the boxes and just ask her to hold it for me because sometimes i don't get paid to a certain date and the boxes come out at the beginning of the month sometimes i don't get paid until middle of the month or somewhere in the middle so that's it guys thank you to misha and kyle at cult box and thank you to black amethyst i hope you do get far with your prints and what have you i mean i will probably have a look in your shop and buy some prints 
further down the line of 2021, I am on a no buy guys, but I am allowed to buy certain things, just certain things. Before I go, I've got to scratch this off. I don't think I've got anything to scratch it with. Let me just grab myself a pair of nail clippers, possibly. And um, yeah, scratch that baby. Let's see. And I wouldn't be that lucky. I'm never lucky, guys. I'm never lucky. I've been lucky since I started my channel to meet some amazing small business owners and, you know, have given me lovely PR and I'm forever grateful to them. I'm, I think I may have scratched it. So it says 10% off your next order over £20 with code... 666. What I might do is just save this and then if I want to get some more of them little things, I can do. All right, guys, take care. Put your comments down below. Did you get the occult box this month? I know a few people who have got it. Um, I don't know how they feel about it. But I, for one, I, I, I'm all right. It's all right, yeah. All right, guys, take care, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye for now. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button, hit the notification bell and hit that like button if you like this video because it helps me out and my channel. Take care guys and I'll see you on my next one. Bye for now.